so we'll get started. Um, yeah, I'm there. Oh, I, I keep forgetting to remind everybody I do do massage <laughs> and I'm looking for clients. So if you're, you're interested or you know anybody interested, please share my information for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm starting to get desperate for, for new clients. Gotta, gotta pay my rent, gotta pay my rent. <laughs> oh, I'm located, uh, my office is located behind Puck's Alley, right below the freeway, right below the back entrance to um, to the University of Hawaii, yeah, the back entrance, but right, right behind Puck Sally. Yeah, if you've ever parked in Puck Sally and you had to come out that back street, yeah, back there. Okay, Sunday, August 7th. I know it's August 7th because August 6th is my mom's birthday. <laughs> Bring the hands up. Yeah, just get a nice gentle stretch. And I'm not ready to share the link yet. But um, I've been watching this uh, Chinese drama on YouTube. <laughs> and, and it is a drama. So it's a kind of a cute drama. But the reason I got caught up in it is I saw this little clip and it's called Sweet Tai Chi, which tells you it's a drama. But uh, it does, uh, it, it centers around um, traditional Tai Chi and the young lineage holder is trying to wants to make it public and you know it's a closed door thing and all the other little dramas in there yeah. I think I'm halfway through I'm not quite sure take a nice deep breath yeah. each time you go stretch a little bit more just gently stretching put your mind inside of your joints as you stretch put your mind inside your muscles as you stretch relax the more you stretch, the more power you want, the more strength you want, the more you have to relax, the more you can expand. You have to practice letting go, having that heavy feeling, the lightest control. You imagine the chi flowing until you feel that magnetic energy in your palms and your body. Feel yourself moving from your shoulder blades, directing with the mind, with the E, letting the Chi follow, letting the blood follow the Chi. Breathing in from the earth, feet nice and flat on the ground, just gently extended into the earth, expanding the body from the top of the head down to the bottom of the feet. Let your belly expand. Let your diaphragm move, your lower diaphragm move. Imagine the chi flowing in the bone, stimulating the bone marrow. Right? Relax, 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 expand. You can imagine like water flowing in, if you want. Or you can imagine different colors flowing whatever helps you to imagine energy flowing through your body stimulating every cell of your body imagine your body cleansing itself imagine the cells regenerating imagine the organs cleaning themselves regenerating polishing themselves imagine that little sun in your chest helping to feed clean, clean energy from the sun. Just let it radiate, or you can direct it to any part of your body you need to. Come up from the side, learn to look far away, pulling the chi into your body and then exhaling. Drop your shoulder blades, drop your elbows. Deep breath, feeling your lower belly expand. Take your time. Imagine you're looking way out at the mountain, the most perfect mountain scene you can imagine. Slowly you start zeroing in on one part of the top of the mountain until you can see one object you can make out every detail of that object, scooping down, 
filling up the whole body deep breath squeeze and twist dynamic strength squeeze and slowly let go slowly let all that energy flow back into the muscles and the bones again squeeze through the bones this time from the skull to the spine the rib cage every bone of your body ligaments and tendons wrapping and twisting imagine every ligament and tendon in your body wrapping and twisting and slowly letting go ligaments and tendons is attachment points they attach the muscles to muscles or they attach the muscles to the bone let everything flow and equalize relax let everything go close your eyes just for a few breaths find your center sink your center down below your navel Release all the tension in your hips, your pelvic joints, all your joints. Release all the tension in your face. Smile to yourself while imagining that little sun in your chest, warm and cool, just floating and glowing and putting out energy. Check all your joints, release all that tension. Release all the tension from your face, from your forehead, your eyebrows, your ears, your eyes, the top of the cheekbones, down the sides of the nose, through the jaw, down the side of the, the face, down the side of the neck the collarbone the shoulders let it drip out of your fingers let it let it sink and flow down into the earth pull your head back a little bit to align this neck with the spine relax feel the top of your head starting to be suspended from above Make sure your legs are extended out just past your knees and gently sink and flow your legs into the earth. You can feel the whole bottom of your foot pressing into the earth while releasing all the tension. You see, imagine yourself expanding, upper body expanding upwards from the pelvic joints, lower body expanding downward into the earth from the pelvic joint. Release the pelvic joint. Slowly open your eyes and take a nice deep breath, relaxed. Look straight ahead, imagining that mountain or horizon. Slowly turning your palms forward, extending your fingertips, opening your palms, releasing your joints. And then your next inhale, we start our warm up. Starting with our, okay, we start with the neck. Imagine you washing your face, dropping down and turning your palms. As you exhale, tilt the sternum up, not too far. Elbows remain bent. And exhale as you come down, just the head, keeping your spine nice and straight, relaxed but straight. Make sure you finish the breath. Finish the movement, don't rush, don't be anxious. Just listen to your body and find that nice balance. Tip of the tongue just behind the upper teeth, touching the palate. Let everything go and then begin again. Feel your arms reaching from the shoulder blades, stretching from the fingertips. Open the neck, and last one. Falling and turning, 
pressing from the shoulder blades and down. Finish the exhale and then number two. Slowly, gently connecting all the moves, but finishing the moves, taking your time. And take an extra breath if you have to. And turn as much as you comfortably can. Breathing in as you turn and exhaling as you come back. Right where the palms pass each other, you start breathing in. Relax the shoulders, relax the elbow, relax the wrist. Go at your own pace. Don't wait for me. Right? Don't stop and start. Just go at your own pace. We'll all finish together. The palms and fingers can wiggle a little and create that. Teach it how to vibrate. Teach it how to relax. Last time and come back to center when you're done. Come back in front of the throat. Imagine your voice open, smiling, internal smile, inner smile. Voice is open, no restrictions in your voice. Right? No restrictions in your expression, in your thoughts. Feel all the tension dripping down through your fingers. Take one breath in between and then move to your shoulder blades, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Make sure you fold at the elbows. Hold that stretch. Turn the palms, look straight ahead. Only controlling that inside lower portion of your shoulder blade. Think of that one spot with your mind and move only that one spot, squeezing it together and pulling it up and over and down and then reversing, turning your palms out and pulling front and up. Let your arms gently brush your body during the whole movement. And don't pull your arms out. Don't pull your shoulders up. It's just that shoulder blades. Fingertips are lightly stretched, but relaxed. You finish and then do one side when you're done. Relax the waist, relax the neck so your body can turn with the movement. Lift your shoulder blade, but keep the shoulders, the shoulders level. So you're turning right around the spine, right around the waist. Turning the palm the whole time. Other arm should be nice and relaxed. All the way down and front to back when you're ready. And remember, just go at your own pace, go at your own speed. And don't need to speed up to be with me, don't need to slow down to be at my speed. Don't stop and reverse yourself, just continue. And to listen to your body, listen to yourself. Do the other side when you're ready. Feel the muscles under the shoulder blade, and stretching and squeezing. Let the head turn, let the waist turn. Keep the feet extended into the ground. After three times, change the direction. Try to breathe in and out from the nose. At least breathe in from the nose. You can exhale from the mouth. But just do what's comfortable. You listen to your body, your body will tell you. you 
all the way down, finish the movement, then one time back to front, then one time front to back. If you finish before us, just loose circles. Make sure you stretch all the way down, take a breath in between, and then loose circles. Keep the elbows down. You want, want the whole shoulder joint loosely rotating. Yeah, and then slow it down. Yeah, and then put it all back together. So breathing in. Feel the shoulder joints nice and light. Feel the palms continuously rotating. Fingertips just about the top of the head. As you come up, you feel the arms hanging straight down. And you can feel them falling. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. And see if you can turn but keep the arms right in front of the body. And so let the shoulder joints fold and unfold a little bit more. Let the elbow joints fold and unfold a little bit more. And look straight ahead. Look straight ahead. Relax the neck so the body can turn while the head still points forward. You should feel the, the legs reacting to the turn. You should feel the knees moving a little bit. And if you listen quietly, you should feel every joint of your body moving. With your palms turning and your legs pumping and the bottom of your feet remaining flat on the floor. So allow the joints to move to compensate for the turn. Do one more nice deep breath and let everything go. Moving to the spine, hold the ball in the front first, up and down, right in the center, and then slowly split and separate the arms, keep the elbows bent, connect the shoulder blades. Yeah. Notice, notice the angle. Notice the angle of my forearms from my elbow. Right? My bottom hand is pointing at a slant down to the ground to the opposite leg, the upper forearm is pointing upwards at a slant over the opposite shoulder. The elbows are bent. I'm, I'm slowly stretching my shoulder blades. I'm discovering my shoulder blades. I'm trying to pull them equally. So just making that little adjustment. At the same time, trying to stretch and open my hip and my spine. Keeping the shoulders down. Keeping the palms right in the center. Breathing, letting the lower belly expand and contract. Take a nice deep breath in and expand. And release when you're ready. Just, just let the joints go. Right where the palms pass each other, breathe in. But remember the first one, we're just breathing naturally, warming up into that stretch of the spine. And discover your spine just just allow your body to wiggle around feel everything connected you can feel the shoulders rounding right as you stretch the shoulders and imagine imagine you're expanding the spine each vertebrae from the tailbone all the way up through the neck but we're actually stretching much more than that from the fingertips through the back through the waist down to the toes but the main thing is to warm up the spine take a deep breath and expand and relax continuous movement make sure the palms are washing through the forearms breathing in as the palms pass each other gently stretching the spine and all the joints and releasing when you're ready Exhaling as you come down, breathing in as the palms pass each other. 
Nice deep breath. Take your time. Let the body turn. Let all the joints stretch and expand. Let the top of the head connect way up in the sky, flowing, allowing the energy to flow through your body down into the earth. Feel the legs gently pressing into the earth, sinking, rooting. One more time and then we'll do our spirals. We'll do our big spirals. Right, turn the palm back, drop the elbow straight down and turn your waist and wash the outside, wash the pericardium channel. Lifting, falling by the belly button and turning right in the center. Relax the shoulders, relax the waist, relax the neck. Breathing in and out. Turn the body. Gently stretching the fingertips. Spiral the palms. And exhale. And then breathe in right at the wind up. And then exhale. And then breathe in and turn. Exhale. Nice deep breath. Breathe in. Exhale. Right, so winding up and unwinding, coiling and uncoiling, relaxing the shoulder joints, letting them stretch and fall back into place, keeping the palms right in the center the whole time, turning the waist, relaxing the neck. Do one more and we'll come back to center, come back to the heart, remind ourselves to have that little sun in the chest, warm and cool. To have that inner smile. To allow the body to turn. Allow the tantin to rotate three times. Sinking the chi down. Turn the palms up and down. Hold the ball while you rotate towards the upper elbow. Turning right around the spine. Nice deep breath at the end. And then release. Exhale. Turn the ball. Breathing in as you start to turn. Winding up. And exhale as you release. And then breathing in as you turn. Relax the waist, relax the neck. Let the head turn. Come back to center. Solo plex. Remember, tilt, tilt the sternum up. Project yourself far away. Solo plex is your charisma. Standing on water, walking through the crowd, standing on stage. Just looking straight ahead. Nothing in your way. Finish the palms first. Release everything from the palms. And then slowly pick up one leg, left or right. Bring it back. Find the, find the earth, let it rest. And then pick up the other leg, not too high. Don't strain the upper body. Okay, readjust your legs, readjust your body. See if you can feel like you can pick up your legs if you need to. And start with the palms and imagine your legs resting on the ground. Okay? Not pressing, not lifting, just resting. While you practice pulling the chi up from the earth with your shoulder blades. Breathing in, drop your shoulder blades, elbows, forearm, wrist, palm, fingers, all the way down. Finish the move. Spine is straight, sternum is up. And take an extra breath if you need to reset your body. Drop the shoulder blades and the palms round back in while you gently guide the chi back into the earth. 
So pulling the chi up, displacing the chi around you so it gets pulled into the earth, pulling your feet down, then pumping the chi back down, displacing the earth chi so it flows up through your legs, releasing the legs a little. The legs are fully at rest, you can feel that happening. It's really subtle, it's a really subtle demonstration of what's happening with the chi. One more time. Pelvic joint is relaxed, legs are just resting, they're just heavy by themselves. You finish the move, take your time, pick up one leg, left or right, keep the upper body nice and still and relaxed, step forward, gently pressing while you release the back leg, now the leg presses into the earth, and the back leg presses into the earth, feel the toe to the heel and changing. And all of this is demonstration of, of the concept of yin, yin and yang. Right? All of this is a demonstration of what Tai Chi is about. Right? It's constantly switching from one to the other. It's it bigger, smaller, slower, faster. It's a constant balance. There's nothing created, nothing wasted, nothing destroyed. It's just the physics of nature. So the less we can learn to fight nature, right, then the stronger we can be, the more relaxed we can be. Those are the lessons of harmony within it. Sometimes it's calm, but that doesn't mean it's static. Sometimes it's strong. It doesn't mean it's going to break or has to damage anything. It's smiling is that it's almost a trick to help you to relax and to remove the anxiety. Last time. Press that back leg on the earth and then press the front leg on the earth and press the back leg on the earth come back to center hold the ball take an extra breath to relax and let everything go okay and then turning so open up one knee and turn opposite while breathing in and sliding straight ahead look straight ahead and reach straight ahead okay, the palm aligns with the leg and it should slide straight in the same direction as that leg so if you're on the left side it should follow the left leg if you're on the right side it should follow the direction of the right leg you can you can just turn your foot and drop the knee right, or you can take a step to open up your pelvic joint a little bit more main thing you turn drop your shoulders the step can be large or small, whatever is comfortable. Okay, and in the chair, we don't need to really lean, okay, but you do want to turn and relax the pelvic joints. We're warming up the pelvic joints with this move. That's the primary joint we're addressing. But we're always addressing, or we're always warming up all the joints. You can slide your foot back if you're comfortable. Take your time, finish your breath. Keep the shoulders down. You can slide it back if you're comfortable. So you can still get a very nice range of motion in the chair for the pelvic joint. Okay, but before you end, right, it's the same thing, kind of cool down a little bit, so come back to some smaller, smaller movements before you end, if you did those larger movements. Last one. And come back to center, just below the belly button, thinking deep inside your body. Feel the legs gently pressing into the earth. 
Feel everything sinking down, the breath sinking down, all the tension sinking down, deep into, deep into your, your sacral, right? that second chakra. Nice and stable, cultivating the chi right in that area. Palms on the side, loose fist is rested on the hips. Okay, the palms should be in front of the hips. So just the wrist resting so your hands can swivel, right? Your hands can swivel up and down on the wrist. Reset yourself if you have to. Uh, fold your thumb in on top of the fingers. And just a loose, relaxed fist. Okay, remember opposite hand, opposite leg. So picking up together. Only as high without straining the upper body. You want the upper body to be nice and still and quiet. And pressing the heel and the fist right in the center and stretch the heel. Feel the back of the knee stretching. Give it time to stretch, then lift. Keeping the top of the head up and suspended and switching. Stretch all the way out, push your heel. Feel the hip opening, feel the back of the leg stretching. Yeah. Keep the head up, upper body relaxed as you pick up the knee. Anytime you can, st you can press the foot out and you can turn the waist when you're ready. Okay. If it confuses the movement, then leave, then just leave it out. Okay. But at some point, try to add the turn and the foot press and feel the leg extending. You're gonna feel like you're stretching that toe out, like you're pushing something out and just trying to reach it with your toe, or push it just with your toe and then lift and slowly bring it back up. You wanna stretch and exercise the, and tone these muscles all at the same time. Same time, keeping the head suspended, but the pelvic joint relaxed. Sinking the breath down to here. Practice by yourself, try reading something out loud. Right? If you're gasping for air, that means you're breathing from here. You can't, you can't read, you can't talk. You have to sink everything down so your upper body is relaxed, right? so your vocal cords are relaxed. Your speaking voice can be relaxed. Last time. And up and down and let it go. Yes, yeah, so I didn't mention it before, but as you do this, if you wanted to, as you're coming out, you can, you can squeeze on the end and then release as you come back. You still hold the fist, but you could squeeze right at that very end with that final stretch and then slowly relax. So there's that continuous spiral, continuous um, tension, increasing tension, release, continuous coiling and uncoiling. So that spiral will help you to, to um, one day you just see, you'll just see all the spirals coming out. Okay, and then finally moving down to our ankles, so holding the ball. And remember, this is always optional. This is my preference, because this reminds me, oh, keep the sun in my chest, right? The heart is number one and it activates the whole upper body. Okay? But if you're, you know, if you're feeling anxious, if you just feel like too much stress, then just rest your hand here or rest your hand here to relax your upper body. Right? You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. Right? These, are, these are my preferences or you know, what I choose to do for the day. Okay? So again, as you pick up the leg through the, through the waist, through the pelvic, feel feel it transfer to the standing leg, right? So as I release one leg, then this leg starts pressing on the earth. Right? I'm still keeping my body upright, relaxed, suspended from above. My toes are touching the ground. Right? Then open up 45, stretch the heel, keep the upper body upright, but relaxed, gently stretching straight up and then flex. Straight up, and then flex straight up and then flex if you do it like that you'll feel like the leg is bouncing up because you're holding that stretch and then you lift the knee up it feels like it's going to bounce up 
Same time you're trying to keep this leg stable and pressing and keep the whole upper body stable. Okay, finish this and then move to the other side. So same thing as you pick up this leg, this leg starts to press on the ground, 45 degrees, keeping the upper body stable. So from the stretch, you pick straight up, it's gonna bounce up and then you flex. While you're stretching, you, you pick up the knee, it's gonna just bounce up. Relax the bottom of this foot at the same time. So to get everything aligned, right? If, if we do a lot of movements, hard to, hard to run through that inventory, that list of checking all the alignments. But if we're just doing one basic move over and over, we can practice aligning, right? Practice relaxing, practice the spine, practice the head suspended, practice dropping the shoulders, practice expanding all the muscle tissue, do one more and then switch to the other leg, small toe, big toe. Yeah, take your time and transfer, small toe, big toe. So even in this movement, there's coiling and uncoiling, right? As you stretch here, right? There's that twist and then uncoil and then coil and lift and uncoil, then coil. Relax the bottom of the foot. This has to be expanded. The pelvic joints have to be expanded and open the qua. Yeah. Do one more and then switch. Gently release, transfer, right, you take your time. You take your time, the movements start to look nicer and nicer. And then you don't even realize how hard you're practicing, how much work you're putting into it. Okay, do one more and and come back to center. Yep. Pull the heels up, relax, relax the ankles a little and then pull the heels up. Let everything go. Just the heels, just the bottom of the feet. Draw them up as high as you can. Get the whole bottom of the foot to stretch. Try to, try to have only the tip of the big toe or whatever your longest toe is <laughs> touching the ground. <laughs> whatever your longest toe. <laughs> I forget, not everybody, the big toe is the longest toe. I've seen it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stretch, stretch. Yeah, there, I've seen it. <laughs> not everybody, the big toe is the, the longest toe. Okay, loosen everything up. Oh, and I'll, I'll share with you this um, this other website. It's a it's an exercise company. They they sell exercise equipment, but um, they have a they do a lot of resistance bands and some other some other exercises. But they have a whole link of videos, and they're showing you how you can exercise with resistance bands and those kinds of things. Yeah, and it's it's a it's a large yeah it's a large library. So, um, you know, every, anytime you do these things, you do it within your comfort range. If it doesn't feel comfortable, just stop and go lighter. It's always, uh, you don't want to increase pain. Right? You, you just have to be careful, especially when you're doing it on your own. But, you know, resistance bands are just really excellent training tools. Um, yeah, so, you know, whether, whether you're doing th these kind of bands or, um, oh, where do I have it? Or, or this, this type, right? And they have different, um, uh, oh, different weights. So to say, some are lighter, some are stronger. Right? And then you can do it with handles and things. And they're actually really nice because you don't need a whole lot of equipment. And they're, they're excellent exercises for us for toning and such. But I'll, I'll share that, I'll share that link with that company. I just, uh, I, I bought new handles for mine because the ones I bought from Target, they squeak. <laughs> You're driving me crazy. 
<laughs> and I realized the ones at physical therapy don't squeak, so it was worth it to buy those. Um, and they're just a little bit more quality, and they're actually not that expensive right, for the amount of training. Okay, let's see, what time is it? Okay. All right, so, you know, our, our warm-up has a lot in it, yeah? If you do it a certain way, if you treat it as Qigong, if you treat it as, as learning internal, right? It's um, the difference with the warm-up and looking at it as Qigong exercise. Uh, the way I see it, Qigong exercise is isolate out the movements, right? They focus on one movement, on s something, one principle, one development r repetitively. The Tai Chi set, Right, it includes everything and it just flows from one movement to the other. And it's actually developed from fighting forms, so it has those kind of applications. But um, they're, you know, they're, they're one and the same in, in a way. Yeah? If, if you break down the movements, that's the Qigong. But it's all Qigong. <laughs> so we'll run through the set. And as, as you sit, Quietly, right? just, just allow yourself to reset. Make sure your legs are extended. As you're finding your center, as you're finding your legs, force yourself to attend to your, your breath work, relaxing, right? Force yourself to let your throat, let the collarbone, all this relax. Force yourself to relax your face, open the throat, Force yourself to make your belly move as you breathe in and out, sinking everything down. Yeah, move around to loosen up your joints. Right? Remind yourself, don't stiffen your joints. Tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth. And gently close your eyes. Just for a few breaths, think about Wuji. Wuji is nothingness, right? No intent. Because we're alive and we have our consciousness, you try to bring it down to one thought. So that one thought in Wuji is just being relaxed in that perfect posture, not fighting. And just letting everything go. Feel your face have no expression. Just let all the tension in your face go. So your face doesn't smile, doesn't frown, just has no expression to it. And the same with the rest of your body. No expression, just being there perfectly balanced. Slowly start to open your eyes as you slowly start to suspend your body from above, just back of, just by the giddy giddy, back of center. Slowly releasing the pelvic joints of your legs, slowly press into the earth. Bottom of the feet are totally relaxed. Toes are reaching down. Pelvic joint is loose. You can feel your thigh muscles gently activated and pressing into the earth, expanding. You can feel the top of your head being suspended. The spine is relaxed, the pelvic joint is relaxed, so your spine is expanding upwards. Well, the shoulders are relaxed, so the arms are falling straight down and forward. And the fingertips start to stretch and open, gently holding that ball of chi, gently gathering the chi between the palms. Sink the breath down, open the throat, relax. Look straight ahead and finally remember to smile, inner smile and that little sun in your chest. Take a deep breath. And begin commencement, breathing in, drop your arms as they lift up and forward. Bring the chi to your heart. Drop the arms. Roll it, 
Start slowly waking up the chi and introduce it to the rest of your body. To all the organs coming in from the root, flowing up through the center, and out through the throat and the third eye and the crown and extend and center everything back at the heart. Allow the body to move if it wants to move. Single whip turning to your right. Okay. Take your time. Take an extra breath if you have to, but relax the joints so you flow every movement, even if you take an extra breath. Single whip. So even if you pause, you don't stiffen during the pause. You just relax. One saw. Eyes looking right over the fingertips, staring at the mountain far away. All the joints relaxed. Palms facing straight up, lightly stretched and expanded. The wrist is bent, so it has a light stretch through the forearm. The shoulder blades are swiveling. Last time, finish on the right side. As you come back to center, turn a little bit to your left and then spiral back right into an open and close. Take your time. Repeat on the left side, turn and press. And about 60-70% start opening. Drop your shoulders, single whip, and then flow right into one saw. Looking straight ahead, right over the fingertips, staring at the mountain. The palms expanded. Upper palm is facing straight up and down. The hands are moving up and down while you're turning. Continuous motion. It can be really slow, but continuous. Finish on the left side, we bring the palms back to center, turn a little bit to the right as you come back, so you spiral back to the center, right into an open and close. Brushing the knee on the right side, drop the shoulders, turn, nice deep breath, and exhale as you turn back to the front, lift the sternum. Drop the lower hand so it sweeps just outside of the knee. Turn a little bit more while the palms drop and turn towards center. And then 45 degrees to your right. Left hand rising. Hold pipa. Hold the pipa. Fold. And parry right and parry left. Keep the hands low so the shoulders are down. Let the elbows fold and vibrate the palms and fingers. Cover under the right wrist over wrist. Turn the waist so the hands make a plus sign. Breathe in and grab. Exhale and squeeze, then allowing the right fist to rise. And then release wrist over wrist, center. Drop your shoulder blades and draw the chi back. Gather. Compress in the lower tantin and then lift the sternum while you exhale. Rolling the palms up and out. Channel press and then release the wrist. Bring everything back to center. Sun in the chest, the inner smile, shoulder blades. Repeat on the left side. Brushing the knee, turn and rise the left palm. Breathing in and out. Relax and then lift the sternum. Drop the right hand. Keep on turning while the palms turn to center. Turn 45 to the left. Right hand rises to fingertips height of the shoulder and turn to your right. Left palm under the right elbow. Parry left. Parry right. Drop the arm as you parry. Turn the waist 45. Cover. 
right goes under the left wrist. Breathe in and grab. Exhale and squeeze the, the fist while the left fist rises to the throat and then release both. Center, wrist over wrist. Draw the chi back, expand the palms, gather. Drop the shoulders, drop the palms, compress into the lower tantin, and lift the sternum. The, the palms swing up. Release the wrist and bring the chi back to the heart. Relax the pelvic joint. Repeat on the left side, brushing the knee first. Just slide the left palm up as you turn, breathing in. Dropping the left palm and exhale. Release the shoulders. Let the right palm swing to the side. Leisurely tying the coat, fold into the left. Right hand sneaks in, right elbow is out. And then the right palm comes out as you turn the waist back to center. Turn the waist. Come down, fingertips connect, lift. Drop the shoulder, drop the elbows, lift right under the chin, let the elbows come in, and then push. Push with the back finger, extend, open. Big circle, big spiral. Loosen the lumbar, loosen the tailbone. Both palms facing front, and then hold the ball. Let the body turn so it naturally turns into the open and close. And repeat on the right side. Brush the knee first. So turn and slide the right hand up. Breathing in and out. Relax and then expand. Drop the left hand so it sweeps out. Turn the waist a little. Leisurely tighten the coat. Fold into the right. Left elbow out. Left palm out. Turn the body. Wiping down. Tuck the elbow in. Right fingertip connects. Drop the shoulder and elbows. Lift. Push from the back finger. Turn the waist. Big spiral. Let the whole body spiral. Loosen up the lumbar, the sacrum, the tailbone. Double palm. Slowly releasing right into the open and close. Fist under elbow. Turn to your right. And then open. Start dropping the right palm. And then turn the waist. And turn back. Right fist. Keep on turning. Gently align the fist under elbow. Take a deep breath. Exhale and turn your waist so the fist goes straight out. Keep it low to the belly button. Squeeze the fist and then release and then fold up and turn to your right dropping the left palm repulse monkey first first out of three brushing the knee turn the palms keep on turning elbows down breathing in and out let the waist turn let the knees pump lift the sternum third time your pulse monkey. Fingertips and then heel the palm. Expand. Leisurely tying the coat. Fold into the right. Left hand in. Left elbow out. Left palm out. Drop the shoulders and elbows. Turn the palm a little bit. Then wipe down. Fingertips connect. Drop the shoulder and elbow as you turn back. Rise right under the chin. Close to the body. And push straight out. Feel the whole upper body opening and then big spiral. Rotate over the tailbone. Loosen up the joints. Right? Loosen up the pelvic, the tailbone, the sacrum, the lumbar. And finally repeat on the left side. Turn and press and then start to turn back and opening while dropping the left hand and then turn the waist and then turn back. Left hand turns up and holds a fist and keep on turning and swiveling, fist under elbow. 
breathe in, exhale, turn straight to the belly button, nice and low, and then open, and fold, turning, breathing in, exhale, lift the sternum, release all the joints, keep on turning, washing down the left arm, exhale, let everything go, loosen all the joints, expand all the muscles, gather, Relax, expand, loosen all the joints, expand, 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 then coil back in. And out. Turn the palms in while dropping the elbows down, and then center. Shoulders, elbows in and down, and then expand and open and big spiral. Loosen the pelvic joints, loosen the spine. Drop, double palm, release. Feel the waist still turning. Start to bring everything back to center, take your time. Lift the sternum. Check your alignment. Bottom of the feet are connected with the earth, lightly expanding. Top of the head suspended, all the joints loose. Arms dropping to the side. Gently close the eyes. Gently bring one leg back at a time, finishing the movement. When both feet are back, let the legs rest on the ground, release all the tension, return back to Wuji. No intent to suspend or sink into the ground. Just trying to get that nice alignment, letting everything go. Feel the lower belly expanding and collapsing on its own as you have a nice relaxed breath. Remove all expression from your face. Remove all expression from your body. Let everything go. Make sure your lower belly is expanding as your throat is open. Release any tension in your shoulders. Release any tension in your hips. Release all tension in any of your joints. your eyes. Move your body around slowly. So if you have time when you when you finish when you have time on your own and you finish that right, try and just hold it if you have time hold it and you just move right into that nice meditation. And, um, when you, when you relax, your body will shake a little sometimes because you're finally releasing all that tension and all that energy and your body wants to move. Every time you do it, you're generating uh, more and more energy. You're cultivating more and more energy in your tantin. You're raising your frequency, your, your, your harmonic frequency, your vibration. So as you relax, right, that frequency comes out and your body will just kind of shake one time. And it'll, it'll happen. It will happen. And slowly you just enjoy, if your body starts to move and vibrate, you learn that it's just natural yeah, from there. Okay, so we'll take a, we'll take a break. Sorry, I, I guess, you know, I, I shared a I shared long story in the beginning about my mom in Costco. <laughs> but um, yeah, to honor somebody 96 years old and you know, that's my mom. So yeah, I, 
just wanted to share that. Um, you know, every time I share with something about the Tai Chi, right? Tai Chi is balance, and you see that fish swimming. Um, I'll share that picture of the, the monk seal. There's that one picture where I have the pup nestled into the mom. And if you look at them, they're the yin yang symbol. But the mom is large, the pup is small, and the pup is growing, yeah? But that's nature, and that's a balance. So as it balances out, the pup will grow, and at some point, the pup will be as large as the mom, and then the mom will shrink, right? As the mom gets to the end of her life, and then and then it just goes and it's round and when they play in the water right there's no up and down it's not flat it's circular it's spiral yeah and it really it's a it's a great concept it's a great example of what yin yang is is about what tai chi is about right the, the nature and the, the expressions of tai chi so i'll i'll take that photo i kind of want, want to do something with it and turn it into that from there Okay, we take a we take a short break and then come back, move around.